What we are seeing today is a crossover of six seismic themes that are shifting the foundations in the corporate and transaction banking space. They do provide a significant array of opportunities as well as challenges for banking professionals. Theme number one, the consumerization of corporate banking. This primary behavioral shift reflects a major demand jump across incumbent corporate personas that have a new set of uncompromising demands for the immediacy of client bank interaction, real-time access to information, the personalization of content and brand identification, and above all, better business insights supporting an uplift in business performance. These themes are here to stay and they're stretching the technological foundations of banks as they ready their API builds and gateways and look to rebuild their portal and wider corporate engagement platforms. Theme number two, SME franchise building. Coming out of COVID, the tilting attention towards supporting business durability and sustainability has re-energized interest in the SME sector and its growth. SME franchise building is driving investment in simpler business onboarding procedures, easier entitlement process management, more friendly client acquisition processes, and self-service reliance, as well as on-tap functionality extensions. All of these variables, again, stretching investment priorities. As an immediate byproduct of the SME engagement, transaction banking specialists are having to closely interact with their lending product partners for core lending provisioning. The wider capabilities set requires a package of day-to-day -day facilities, such as salary payments, corporate and payment cards, and indeed access to key financial tools such as accounting, and basic treasury management software, both supporting account and cash flow forecasting activities. Theme number three, liquidity, managing the balance sheet. Out of the pandemic, the renewed focus on liquidity management, both from within the banks, as well as within their clients' environments, has been a major driver of change. Low interest rates have compelled banks to optimize liability deposit profiles to ensure that operational balances are maximized and that less strategic deposits are placed into off-balance sheet funds and safe haven asset classes. On the other hand, corporate visibility of funds and driving cash collections effectiveness has been, of course, a critical high priority activity for companies to ensure business contiguity and indeed in many cases bare survival. As interest rates are now rising, we can and should expect more dynamic liability generating strategies on the part of banks with clients repaying MOFs and other short-term loan commitments to further drive real margin gains to be made by banks with longer maturity and low cost deposit profiles. Theme number four, digital acceleration and payments modernization. Transforming the operational cost base will likely force a more result driven expectation level around digital initiative performance. End to end process redesign will definitely require more emphasis on product user journeys in addition to the user experience uplifts in the bank's transaction banking offering. Besides onboarding that we've mentioned, transaction tracking and data symmetry will continue to feature as high priority areas for investment to improve both client insight into their transaction status across all channels, as well as provide for much improved customer service responsiveness and effectiveness. The intensity around digital acceleration has clearly moved way beyond expectations of progress of key operational themes such as automation and centralization. Finally, 
the demand for a better integration of cash management and open account trade services is definitely emerging as a key market trend to meet a more joined up view of payments across both product domains. Theme number five, trade replatforming. The tsunami of initiatives supporting the build out of a fit for purpose trade capability remains a huge challenge for corporate banking franchises. The gradual shift from an analog infrastructure to a digitally enabled ecosystem remains the vision, if not quite the reality in today's environment. Continued focus on trade compliance requirements has been further challenged with the need to understand the ESG credentials of underlying trade deals, not just around the authenticity of underlying goods and their stated origins, but evaluating green credentials, corporate governance, basic human rights ethics, all of this requiring powerful access to data, artificial intelligence, and data analytics engines to help certify the underlying end-to-end -end business transaction. This coupled with the broader understanding of supply chain vulnerability has led to an important corporate market move and shift towards assessing more conservative and risk adverse dependencies on single track supply chains, resulting in additional qualification of clients and their operating environments. Theme number six, working capital and supply chain finance. Improving the working capital positions of corporate clients clearly the key priority over the last two years, remains today a priority area of focus with an ask for transaction banks to review their capabilities in providing short-term funding options off of clients' receivables and payable cycles, combined with providing the best collections and receivables processing capabilities. Awareness of the significance of cash promoted an unexpected demand also from transaction banks to provide cash flow forecasting capabilities, once only in the domain of specialist third-party corporate treasury and technology houses. The progressive rollout of instant payment schemes requires continued investments in new payment rail initiatives as a de facto system supporting the shift to real-time treasury management within the larger corporate community. This, coupled with a constant corporate need to achieve frictionless reconciliation, will further drive the use and strategic significance of ISO 2022 as the defining institutional message type to help run and support effective day-to-day -day running of corporate platforms. So these key six categories of change are underpinning the spectrum of choices and priorities that incumbent transaction banking businesses have to juggle with. And all of this, besides the critical structural platform modernization initiatives that are being underwritten by the technology pillars of the bank. In effect, running in the 100 meters whilst having open heart surgery. <laughs>